Hi, Grinias here, and I've got something new for you in FIA DC News. Let's roll! In today's episode, after super successful FIA DC 2021, we are ready to announce the date and the place of FIA DC 2022. It's been four months since the FIA Intercontinental Drifting Cup 2021 in Riga, Latvia. This event was a roller coaster of impressions. We saw drama, aggression, courage, luck, bad luck. But all these were needed to reveal the winners of the major drift race of this season. The main drift series of the planet are closing their summer seasons. So it's time to make plans for 2022, which means that it's time for us to announce the place and the date of the FIA Intercontinental Drifting Cup. 2022. After the success of FIA DC 2021, its promoter Russian Drift Series has been looking for a new way to impress the spectators, fans and drifters. You want even a more fantastic venue, more emotions and entertainment, don't you? But is their track better than Bikirnieki? So then, let's approach the question differently. What about racing somewhere by the sea? Or shall we add some mountain landscape? I know it would be better at a Formula 1 track, at a brand new venue built not more than 10 years ago. And we've got a place like that. The next FIA Intercontinental Drifting Cup will be held at the track designed specially for Formula 1, with the Black Sea on one side and the Caucasus mountains on the other. Welcome to Sochi Autodrome! So, Sochi Autodrome was designed by a German architect Formula One circuit designer Hermann Tilke. This unique track is Russia's major car racing track built in the very center of the Olympic Park. And turn three of Sochi Autodrome is known as the longest curve on today's Formula One calendar. What everyone loves about Formula One events is the modern approach to safety, service, performance performance and comfort for the spectators, participants and organizers. This means that FIA DC 2022 will enjoy the infrastructure of the same level as any Formula One race, the highest quality standard. Moreover, Sochi Autodrome is one of the youngest tracks in the F1 calendar. It was designed and built to comply with the major racing series standards and the bar has been rising higher and higher in the past decades. But even between the racing events, you will never be bored around Sochi Autodrome. There are lots of beautiful and modern facilities of the Olympic Park, the spectacular Metal Square, Amusement Park and, of course, the Black Sea and the Caucasus Mountains. Moreover, as the Olympic Park and Sochi Autodrome are the epicenters of all events in Sochi, the area offers lots of hotels to meet every need, from the impressive global hotel chains to small and cozy guest houses. And Sochi International Airport is so close that you get there from the FIA Intercontinental Drifting Cup venue in 10 minutes by taxi. But why am I telling you about that? Let's ask this season's winners about the location of FIA IDC 2022. So here's the bronze prize winner of FIA IDC 2021, Max Miller from Ukraine. Hi Max, what do you think about Sochi Autodrome hosting FIA IDC 2022? Are you gonna take part in this race? Um, I saw many F1 circuits around the world, but uh... Sochi Autodrome is one of the most spectacular racing tracks. Uh, very grippy asphalt, concrete uh, fences, uh, which don't give the right for mistakes. Uh, and of course, well qualified pilots on the event. Precision, uh, determination and risk. That's my tools to get the cup again. Uh, see you there, guys. Cool. Looks like we've got the first entry. And now I'm lucky to stand next to the youngest FIA IDC prize winner in history, Nicholas Burtons. And I know for sure what I want to ask him. So, Nicholas Burtons, second place at FIA IDC 2021. And right now it is announced that uh, um, FIA IDC 2022 comes to Sochi Autodrome. I know. I think you're the best known uh, driver at uh, Bikerniki track, and you know this track. Uh, at the same point, right now, you got acquainted to Sochi Autodrome. Uh, what do you think? How it will um, uh, change the game, or what can be changed uh, uh, comparing 2021 to 2022? 
Well, yeah, Pikarniki is kind of my home track, but I have never had so much training to get used to it. It's always, when you do a run, it's like a new run. But uh, yeah, now it got announced that Sochi will be the next year's track, and uh, I think it's going to be quite fair for everyone, because first of all, the track is quite hard, and second of all, uh, if other people from other countries come, it would be a new experience, and I think whoever adapts first will win. So, it should be fun. Thank you very much. Nicholas Burtons, are you coming next year? Where? FIA? FIA DC. I have to. <laughs> I have to defend the title. <laughs> or maybe even get better. <laughs> maybe. Yes, it's gonna be a great race, but will Nicholas become the youngest FIA DC winner in history? Good question, for he will have to compete with the reigning champion of season 2021, James Dean, and luckily I found him too and this is the conversation we had. James Dean, the winner of FIA DC 2021. Right now I, I know that uh, Riga is one of your um, uh, favorite tracks and at the same point you just got acquainted to Sochi Autodrome. Um, next year, it is already announced that next year FIA DC comes to Sochi Autodrome to Russia. How do you think it will change the game and what can be different about it? Yeah, so um, it's brilliant, I think, news that FIA IDC is coming to Sochi next year because it's a really cool location in general, it's really great for fans and the track itself, the facility is awesome. So uh, while Riga is one of my favorite tracks in the world for sure for drifting, I think this is uh, just a new challenge for everyone, especially drivers from outside of Russia because the local guys have a lot of experience, but when you start to feel this track, it's really exciting. I love the way you have so many walls to, uh, you know, they're like playing with fire, so um, it's, it's really exciting to drive. And for me personally, I, I like the track so far. Um, we're currently at the final round of RDS in Sochi, so it's my first time ever being here, seeing the track, driving the track. It's very challenging. Um, I think smoke is a big issue uh, because the track comes back in itself. So the first corner and the last corner are the same corner, just in reverse. And uh, that's probably the most challenging part, is dealing with the, the bad visibility. Uh -huh. I see. So, are you coming? Oh, I, I think I will be coming, yeah. I'm definitely planning to do it again next year, especially after um, our success at my first time doing the FIA IDC. And uh, I really enjoyed the event. And uh, hopefully next year we have the fans there and uh, it can be a great show for everybody that comes to travel to see the event and uh, all the local people too. I think it's going to be exciting. Great, then see you at FIA DC 2022 here at Sochi Autodrome. Bring it on. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, the top three is in, and I'm sure that many drifters on the planet will be eager to compete for the title with the podium finishers of FIA DC 2021. And if you're thinking of submitting your entry to, subscribe to our social media and don't forget to check the FIA DC official website FIADriftingCup.com, where we will publish the rules for participation, the technical regulations and the entry form in the nearest future. Or you can always contact your regional representative of the Automobile Federation to get all the information you need. I strongly recommend to watch the movie of FIDC 2021 to feel the vibes of this unforgettable event. And of course, I can't wait for the FIA Intercontinental Drifting Cup to be held in Sochi on the 11th and 12th of June 2022. I will be happy if you like this video and subscribe to our channel. This was Grinia. See you in season 2022.